Nimi is a humanitarian. Yes. I knew she had a heart. Ha 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 now Nim just has a barrel. I don't know how long it takes to distribute this crap, but Nim just has a barrel. If you're trying to distribute 30 pounds of apples one at a time, you're going to be here for another two months. Just leave the barrel. Yeah. No, I want the barrel. Oh my god, you greedy Simpson, you fuck. You have your own barrel. You greedy fuck. They need the, <laughs> do you see the quality of wood they have? Those children are playing with rusty rings. I don't think you splinters need... isn't gonna help. <laughs> do you... oh, yeah. Then we'll ask uh, Kiala. Do you think if I offered those kids an apple, they'd take it, or would they think I'm extorting them too? They call you strange. <laughs> what, Kiala? <laughs> what did Kiala say? Oh, she said, uh, hard to say. Do you think it's worth trying? It is it not worth trying? Okay. Uh, Nim, Nim will go over to the kids, but at a distance this time. Not like 30 feet or something, just like- Chuck the apple, chuck the apple. <laughs> no, we're not chucking the apples. Throw the apples at the kids. No! It, it's, got, it's got a range of 20 and 60, so you should, you're probably gonna need to get a little closer. <laughs> uh, Nim is gonna go over to the kids like, Hi, uh, would you like an apple? And the kids, like, look at but Nim, and then they kind of huddle together. And, and they're, they're looking at you, and they're easily, like, six or seven. But you realize, you kind of realize from their silence. Like, they don't even look at each other and say anything. You get the feeling that they might not even be able to know how to speak. And then we'll hold out an apple. Ghost apples look very tasty. And one of the kids is gonna slowly creep forward. Not unlike... Uh, uh, just like... Like holding the apple out for a deer, it just comes very slow and pensively. And it'll just come up and sniff around the apple. Then he'll just put a really dirty hand on Nim's wrist and bite the apple with his teeth and then go skittering off behind the other one. Nim, Nim like you were describing an actual deer and not a child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also were using it, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. uh, your my, your, my your analogy... own example was too effective. My, my <laughs> own analogy kind of slipped into the actual description of the scene. Yeah, no, I'm just picturing this kid as, like, some kind of d, &D deer creature. Like, they've got <laughs> antlers or something. There's the kid from, um, that one show, Sweet Tooth. Mm. The hell they just... <laughs> Nim will pull out a second apple and still hold out the first. Multiple apples. The, fir the first is gone. Oh, okay. Nim will like, pull he out. took it from your hand with his teeth. Oh, that's weird. Oh, what a fucking prank. <laughs> but uh, Nim will pull out Nim more apples. Kid's adorable. <laughs> Our poor deer is adorable. You guys can have more. And then we'll offer more. And the appleless kid will come up. And he'll kind of just, like, stare at it. And he'll just, like, reach his arms out and grab everything you're offering some probably falls into the falls to the ground in the muck and he just gives you like a few acknowledgement grunts kind of just carries it off in his arms uh, at this point Nim will pull the fucking barrel out of her bag it's 
Michelle with them, or is she still with the little survey corps? No, Michelle walked over here with Nim. Oh, and okay. was like, I wasn't she go sure. Talk to the kid? She's not letting Nim go off in this place alone. Are you kidding? <laughs> Nim will die. I don't. I I don't think they could manage to kill Nim. It's not that hard to kill Nim. She's squishy. Yeah, but these she probably people... wouldn't fight back against a bunch of scared poor people. These people are literally like skin and bones. They ha- they bones are the are sharp. N- they are the NPCs yeah. with one HP. Yeah, it's not necessarily killing her. It's biting her and giving her some weird <laughs> infection or like. Yeah, that deer kid might have rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Although, yeah, Nim, Nim will, it's uh... the conditions that are the problem, not the people's ability to kill her. Okay, fair enough. The, the ground will swallow her whole. Yeah. If the people, they're, they're the ligma they're afflicted with, will. Yeah. Because, like, in Yala's mind, if somebody let their living conditions get this bad, they're just gonna freeze to death and die. So, like, it wouldn't be an issue. So, like, she's very cautious here with, like, what she's touching and stuff, and what Nim is coming into contact with. And then while Nim pulls out the barrel, uh, Samson and Zanzibar will finally come up to an absolute, like, decrepit old stone fountain sitting in the middle of the muck and mire. And Zanzibar just starts running his hands over the rim of it. There's no way that any water has come out of this in at least several decades. You think we can get them a decanter? A decanter's not gonna be enough to feed these people. It's literally endless. (laughs) Yeah. Zanzibar pauses and he's like, what I mean is that a decanter won't be able to work hard enough for these people. One to pass around is not going to be a new. But! I was about to say that. And he's just gonna, like, <laughs> step. In. He's gonna, like. I, I'm saying vault, but it's not like he's hopping over it. He's, like, climbing over the rim and into the basin. And walking over to the center. And he's just looking down the pipe that runs through the center, putting his ear up to it. No. It's completely gone. If there was any water to be had coming out of this, what you would get is sludge at this point. I don't even know where the water would have fed from. Maybe an old sewer line that they eventually just decided to cut off. Decanter? Remove curse, maybe? Two decanters. Two decanters. Two and a half. Maybe from the curse of (laughs) economy. I don't know. I don't have a purify of anything. Just remove curse work on capitalism. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You must ignore the dog. She's awful. Wouldn't have heard it if you didn't point it out. But it's all good. Oh, it's still there. And I can hear it. Bothers me. Um, the hell was I saying? Uh, oh, Zanzibar yeah. is hearing the cries of the fountain. Hearing the cries of the fountain gone by. It sounds like a little bitch, anyway. No food, no water, no income, just exploitation. Yep, that tracks. And he's gonna go back over the wall of the fountain and just sit down on it. Just go straight down like a contemplative (laughs) kind of mood. Samson got any comments, Dad? Decanter? <laughs> Two decanter. <laughs> decanter. Nim should, Nim should give away the decanter. 
Simpson actually say that? Yeah. Samson, not everything can be solved with magic and a magic item. Don't yes, but water, would... on the other hand, can Don't... solve quite a lot. Don't you think it might be better to contemplate the bigger picture? No! For crying out loud! Just because you can't save everyone all at once doesn't mean you should not give them a little bit of water. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not in the scene. I just had to yell. <laughs> Kel is out with Nim feeding and giving water to the poor. <laughs> no, just feeding. Yes. No, Nim Kel will, uh, Kel yeah. will good berry a few times and hand those out too. Every person I feel like they'd be more suspicious of the random berry. <laughs> Throw them in just randomly with the apples. Yeah, no, she she wouldn't like cast it out in the open. She'd like cast it with her hand in the bag, and like act like she's pulling it from there, so that at least it's not just some weird thing that appeared in her hand. Exasperated eye, a sigh, and try and meet Samson in his eyes. <sighs> On the surface, yes, we could hand out all the resources imaginable, but they've been forgotten for so long they wouldn't know what to do with it. I have no idea what education, if any, they even have. This is very different than Zanzibar. It's very different than the system of order that exists there have to be able to know how to use it. You can give all the water you want, but if you don't teach them how to acquire and how to maintain it, eventually it's just going to fall away again. Besides, with this amount of oppression, I don't necessarily think that the crests would allow that. We could give them all the resources to fix everything overnight. I could certainly do that. It's not hard. But then what happens tomorrow morning when the status quo has shifted? It'll only get worse. A second of hope squashed is worse than no hope at all. But slow growth, slow conquest, eating it out from the inside, that might be better. If I can figure out where that line goes, if I can figure out where the sewer system once connected to, then there must have been, at some point, a water vein that fed this fountain. Maybe it turned into sewage at some point, maybe it got cut off, maybe it got cut off when it was sewage. That's irrelevant. I plan to take the underground by force. I plan to fix this. I plan to leave it better than I found it. And I'll like slowly get up. And when I've accomplished that, then it'll be nothing Rindorf will have to worry about, at least here. I can pull strings and make sure that this isn't happening in other places in Glotnia, but I'd rather cut the head of the snake off first, bleed out the body slow. That would make Glotnia far better war effort. And since I already suspected the economic wealth was a rotten scab on its flesh, it only makes our grand goal more easy to attain, even if we have to go out of our way to do something else first. Am I at least making some sense, my boy? Four decanter? <laughs> Four decanter? Five decanter, final offer. <laughs> Why not just take them to Zanzibar? Because I'm sure they're also exploited for free labor. Look at them. They're emaciated and unwell-fed. But they still Decidedly have... not good for free labor. But they still have some amount of ability to move, to run, to play. That means 
Despite their sickly state, they are capable of work. And in the most heinous so bring them somewhere their work would help them instead of help someone else. Well, help the... You know what I mean. I have a feeling I do. Even so, even if I was to run with your idea, how do I transport this many people without it being suspicious? Tom? The resources? Big boat? All of those take time to procure. Another problem? We're on the wrong side of the rain buckle, Samson. A boat would never be able to get to Zanzibar from here. Hmm. The central ocean is cut off by the rain buckle that bridges Avrindol to Glatnia, and from there it's the northern ocean all the way up to the Arctic passes over the top of Gomia and comes back down to where the warm current sources that creates the entire Mediterranean ecosystem you see along the coast. It's not as easy as throw them on a boat and send them on their way. And then there's other things to consider. With this many people, how easy is it that they will get sick? It's not even possible they won't make the journey, even if they were on the right side. These are the questions that you want to ask because you actually have some decent amount of mortality within your soul. These are the questions that those who obtain power and avarice forget. They don't want to solve it. Although it does seem to me like it is not the ruling class, it is not the empress and her court that creates this problem. It is the economic stranglehold that the Tencrests hold over Glania creates this. Hence, for the movement of the castle away from where it once sat, which to my surprise used to be part of the grounds of Valenfort. Hence why Valenfort is so big. We're talking about two, three hundred years of history. And even so, with all the power that is held, very little has been able to be accomplished. But you have my word, Samson. I will fix this. So when are we gonna start? <laughs> uh, Nim and Yell already are. And Zanzibar is gonna look over to Nim and Yell and it's like... It started from the second we passed through the gate. And Samson will also acknowledge Nim and Yalla. Yell will wave him over. Samson will come over. She'll, she'll give him some good berries to hand out. I'm out of apples. Does Nim still have apples? <laughs> <laughs> she cut out. I don't know what she said. I just heard something <laughs> about apples. I am out of. Oh. oh. <laughs> she was like, you're like, does he have apples? I just heard an app. And I'm like, oh, apples? Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Do, does anyone have anything we could, like, put water into to distribute, or, like... Uh, barrel. Do we just have to decanter people down? Well, we now have an here. empty barrel. And yeah. anything mm. that could hold water here that you don't bring with you is so filthy and dirty that the water would just become filthy and dirty by touching it. I mean, that's why I said, do we have anything, but also, we can wash it. We have endless water. Dim does have prestidigitation, too. Nim, do you have create and destroy water? Yes. So, yeah. Uh, we have two sources of endless water. I can upcast that for the the base level is ten. That's ten gallons. Maybe thirty. Yeah, forty or fifty. I can make fifty gallons of water. All right, Nim, you fill up some barrels, some of the empty barrels with water, and we'll decanter some other ones. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I just imagine Kel and Samson go off and like Kel is holding up a barrel, Samson spraying water into it. 
What, what makes it do the, 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 the big one? Is it like geyser, geyser or something? Geyser. Geyser. Power geyser! Power Kill geyser. like plants her feet in the ground as best she can. Takes a sumo stance to get shot with water. <laughs> Does Nim? Nim's all out of apples, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Also, I will say, I don't think Nim should be casting spells here, though. We're fine. I'm Is just imagining. Didn't your thing reset? It's at one, but I have not won it before. So just don't. <laughs> Knock on wood. That's not up also, to me. It, does Nim look like Nim or does Nim look like someone else? Oh, yeah, Nim looks like someone else. Which someone else? Ah, uh, hold on, I have a list. I knew of someone else. else. <laughs> Emma's a humanitarian, right? Uh, yes, but Emma's technically not in the country right now. <laughs> I mean, neither are these people, if you, <laughs> from the sound of it. Um. I had a name, I don't remember who they are. But. Simpson Hill just oh, become power washers. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, Shay? Covell. Covell. What's a yeah. Covell look like? Uh, check character discussions. There you the, go. the name just reminded me of like Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> See, I got Carvel. Oh, Fudgy the Whale! Who? Words. That's a cry. <laughs> Fudgy the Whale! I'm pretty sure this is. I'm like 7% sure this is the one that talks in like a British accent. <laughs> British. 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 Wait, would you like an apple? Would you like an apple? apple? The one that talked in the British accent was the student that wasn't Nim. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah. I don't remember their accents. British. I remember, because you were like, we should go find them, make sure they're safe. Probably went somewhere on the scale. Hey. So who's doing what? Kiala's just like doom slaying barrels of water. Woo. Uh, what's the Samson doing? He's helping gather water in barrels. I yeah, because I feel like it's probably I a two-person job. Yeah. Because if you just geyser barrel, it's just gonna go flying. Yeah, it's just gonna go woo out and into the And probably bay. splinter somewhere. That's okay, it'll fit in right with the decor. <laughs> well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, the barrels we're cleaning that are the ones, like, anything from here that's being cleaned probably has to be rather carefully cleaned. Hey, Zane's a bar. Yeah, Samson. Uh, you might get us some lemons and limes. You know, the introduction of acids into their diet might be actually good for the general health of the population. That's an excellent idea. And are you guys just out in the middle of the square? Did you take this next to, like, one of the buildings or something? I assume we're just out here. I yeah. assume we probably shouldn't we're, stare we're, by the townspeople. We're out here on, like, one of those montages to save the rec center. Yeah. Let's teach him how to make brownies and we can hold a bake sale. Uh, roll perception. <laughs> Something which has never accomplished anything. All three of you, roll perception. Yay. I will what? say Nim is not out in the open doing this. So, so goddamn good at these. Damn. <laughs> 
Well, you rolled two sevens. That is a lucky number. I also rolled a seven. So, Nami, you notice uh, two people that don't look like uh, townspeople or don't look like common folk walking up and you kind of tap Hyala and Hyala, your heart kind of like sinks for a second because you recognize the faces. They're the faces of those two guys that tried to jump Zanzibar that he made disappear in the alley. Except... <laughs> Mary Maker! Tur- tur- Hyala's gonna- Hyala's gonna like give him a gesture to like turn around but like leave the decanter running while he does. <laughs> As Give if he wouldn't bit. already. Yeah. <laughs> but this time it's because he was told to, and definitely not because he actually forgot. So yeah, so Kelly uses the these gestures she taught them before when they weren't able to hear each other. Mm, Sa- Samson will look over at them. Still, still decantering. Yeah, and they're kind of sauntering forward. You see, one's got his arm in the sling, and the other one's got, like, a bad bruise on his on the side of his head. And they're just walking up towards Zanzibar, who's facing away from them. And they get hit with a geyser of water. Do they? Oh, was I supposed to geyser them? Yes! That's what oh. I meant! Oh, I thought you meant keep it going in the barrel. <laughs> no, I mean turn your whole body with the decanter still on. All right, uh, that. Oh, uh, what's the thing for decanter? Uh, it's a DC thirteen. Shay, you have it. Thanks, Shay. So what do they have to roll? 30 uh, gallons, Christ alive. What do they have to yeah. roll? A, a, a 13? Mm-hmm. You see 13 strength or fall. I'm just gonna roll two dice at the same time. <gasps> it's much easier. One makes it, the other doesn't. So the first one gets washed out, the other one gets out of the way, and Zanzibar just looks over and says, like, what are you do? Uh-oh. Samson, cut the flow. Your heart is vibes. Kill will just like hold up the barrel and tap on it if he wants if he needs to like let it run out before it will stop. Oh, yeah, he'll just pour it at the <laughs> barrel and call it a day. Uh Nim will fill the last twenty gallons. Because I assume we still like we still just have the fifty gallon barrels. And the guy on the ground just gets there and says, like, "What the fuck are you doing, you fucking poser?" Oops. <clears throat> ha. Samson say anything? <clears throat> no. <laughs> You don't now. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, if he fell on the ground, he might still be a bath. Oh. Mm-hmm. Jack, help Do it me again. Up. My hip. <laughs> oh, it's killing me. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got you. Ugh. Hello, you two. And he'll just pull out the knife from his pocket that you saw him flipping and taking. Ugh. So, what do you want from us? Ah, taking me up on my offer for continued life. Very good. I am going to do things around here. As I explained as I was teaching you how it is not good to sneak up on someone. Yes, and he'll just kind of get in between of them, wrap his arms around, you know, drape each arm over the shoulder. You know, that thing thing menacing people do. And I'll just walk them over to you three. See, I've got to depart fairly shortly, but I'm not done making things change. Shaking the boat. 
and I'll just squeeze them tightly. You're going to be my little eyes and little ears. That's going to be a start to the repayment of your debt. And they both are just like looking at him, sweating. One's drenched and you can still tell he's sweating. I'm going to leave you with a way to contact me. Should anything go wrong around here, you're going to make sure that I know. You got it? Oh, you want trust? Yes. You are going to keep watch over the comments and hide out here. Now, you do have an option, fear aside. You can either deal with the Ten Crests, or you can deal with me. One of those options, allow me to assure you boneheaded, you, you boneheaded little boys, is much worse. As his grip just tightens around their necks as he brings them close to his chest. But I yeah, we're totally leaving a good impression. Yeah, no, it's baffling to me that Zanzibar's like, these poor people I can bully and harass and threaten. get to know them, and learn why the status quo needs to fall. It's an education lesson. The building blocks of why what has existed for generations is going to fall in fire and brimstone. And he kind of releases the lock and pats them on the shoulder. I'm sure that you understand. Do you understand? And they kind of just... Shakily nod their heads. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good. Here you go. Do not lose this stone. Make sure your answer, anything you need to tell me, is efficient, is understandable, and by all means, you already know the best way to make sure I come. We talked about that safe word. And, well, if you need to use it, I suggest finding a good corner to duck and hide into. And it'll just drop a stone into each of their hands. An ornate little ring, not too much unshaped like the black token he gave Nim before she went on her uh, campus adventure. Mm hmm. Get to know these people. I do not expect you to be their gladiators of liberation. I merely expect you to eyes, and he'll take both hands, point at their eyes, your ears, and he'll just tap his fingers to their ears, and if need be, your mouths, as he just kind of like grips their lower jaws, in a gentle but firm manner. In the meantime, I suggest healing up, and I suggest training. One never knows when their hands will be a useful tool for them. And these guys look like, they look like they're terrified, but they also understand they're definitely getting a better deal than whatever they could go back to. Before they leave, uh, Hela's gonna run up and give each of them a ration and apologize for Zanzibar <laughs> as quietly as possible. Oh, and after Zanzibar's done with his little toss, Samson's just gonna remind him about the limes and lemons. <laughs> Yes. Black needs to give us lemons. They'll look at Hyala and go, I hear uh, It's, uh, kind of better than what we were uh, already doing. Uh, <laughs> terrifying. Well, I, I hope you continue to feel that way. And she glances back at Zanzibar and just keeps holding out a ration for the, each of them. Yeah, and they'll take it. Samson reminding Zanzibar will be like, I didn't forget. I don't forget those things. I never forget a lemon! Mm -hmm. I never forget a lemon or a lime! <laughs> I am very fruity! <laughs> Slay! He does drink that water. Slay, queen! <laughs> he doesn't drink bath water. Where, where did you get that he drinks <laughs> bath water? I guess. Like... He 
drinks bath water? What does a person that drinks bath water act like? Zen's is like, you know, perpetually grumpy. Takes one to know one, I guess. I don't know, that genie was pretty nice. Where's my thing? Yeah. He's the one selling the bathroom. Out of curiosity, are all of the people here human, or is it like a mix of races? You can see a mix of races, but at the same time, you also see a lot more like half species and quarter species than you're used to seeing. Because, you know, there, there definitely isn't a lot of genetic diversity coming in and out of this place. You don't exactly move up, and it's probably unlikely that you actually move down. But anyway, Zanzibar will go somewhere unseen, come back around, two full barrels, one with lemons, one with limes. Place them down next to Samson. I think that should be enough. Yes, sir. Quick question. Quick Are there any other clean barrels? Here? No. Unless you got them in your inventory. Just had the one. All the barrels. And Samson will... Hmm. Do you have anything that can act as a strainer? Uh, I don't know, does he? Mushrooms? I don't mushrooms think mushrooms can act as a strainer. Strainers. They're pretty porous. I mean, maybe as a sponge. Maybe. They are more porous than the other things in my inventory, which include arrows, uh, bog water, <laughs> and I diamonds. I forgot about that. <laughs> I thought I should you said. Yeah, introduce hard drugs into this I community. thought you said bog water, and I'm like, I think they have enough of that. <laughs> they do. They need this to, water's mine. They just need to take a fat riff. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um... So... Eh! I guess the straining's not gonna be necessary. I mean, don't so, yeah. you have some so, cloth on you? Yeah, uh, that's true. It was mainly just to get the seeds out of, of the water. Because, like, pulp and juices are fine. What are you, juicing yeah. all in the limes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we weren't just gonna chew on them. I wasn't just gonna put them in like a tea. Oh, I thought you were gonna use it to clean because lemon with a bit of salt on top makes actually a really thorough cleaner. No, I was gonna use it for the water, so people, like, if they have anything like scurvy or shit. That also works. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were just gonna let them eat it whole. Yeah. Just, I just mean, chop it up and drop it in the water. Yeah. yeah they can eat the pieces. Well, it was gonna save the seeds to try and tell them, like, oh, hey, if you find anywhere you can plant these, try and plant them. Make sure they get a you lot of electrolytes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they have enough water to <laughs> you do that. Well, unless Nim leaves it, the decanter. It rains sometimes. Yeah, but unless lemons are super local to this area, that's it's, it's not gonna happen. This is where Samson bought them last time. There's a chance. Yeah, but like actual fields would probably have some rudimentary form of irrigation. And this place is stagnant gunk. Damn, fine. No seeds. Fuck it. We're chopping up half the 
Or chopping up like half of the lemons and limes, putting in the water, and then just giving other halves to people. Yeah, I mean, the seeds will still fall into the gunk, and if luck likes these people, then they just... I think it's fair to point. say luck does not like these people. <laughs> luck, the luck for... No, the DM doesn't like these people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. You you did create them and the situation. And plan to sorry, you Capitalism. I mean, this is decidedly not capitalism. Yeah, your capitalism hate boner doesn't apply here. Capitalism. Mm. Yeah, freaking Kami. Kel's gonna eat a mushroom. <laughs> so yeah, Samson will chop up the, uh, the the lemons and lime with his dagger. Wow. E. All right, and that's that. Are people like coming up for the water? They're kind of like those of them that have been watching what you're doing are now kind of like staring at it, like they've never seen anyone do this before and are completely fucking confused. Kella will give him a gesture to come closer. Samson? Or the people? people. Okay. You're already close. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. And they'll kind of like hesitate and like peer over the lid. Yeah. Kella will like dip her hands in it, pull some out, and drink it. And then hold out a hand for them to do the same. Should we, like, hand them something to wipe off on first? Uh, uh, Nim will leave her little cup so they can pull out up. So they're not just dipping their dirty ass hands in here. Mm -hmm. Then Hela will demonstrate with the cup. I'm guessing the cup has a handle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she demonstrates a way that doesn't Involve the dumping stick. the hands in the thing. Yee. Oh, that Nim dips. Nim's done her, her effort. Hand into the water? Huh? Dips her hand in the water? No, Nim starts leaving. <laughs> Why not for us? Yeah, Hell's gonna call out and be like, Nim, don't go off too far. I'm tired. <laughs> We're heading out in just a minute. Hurry up. I'm kidding. Anyway. Guy, no, like, no, we'll come back. One of the guy, like, takes the cup, puts it in the water, sniffs at the water, just looks at it strange, like... Like... Why is it spicy? Yeah, literally, like, why is it spicy? I call it McDonald's Sprite. He takes a small sip of it, and at first he's like, Ugh. Ew, tastes like ground. Why don't it taste like the ground? It's, it's not, not from to. the ground. What water is supposed to taste like the ground? So you know it's good. Yeah, Still good, Kel's just gonna be like, just trust us. Still gonna we'll make start me... to enjoy this. He's not gonna make me sick, is he? I can't get yeah. sick. Hopefully nope. not. It Source, fact, trust me, bro. In fact, it should help you get sick less. <laughs> Kel's gonna water. glance at Samson like, you maybe shouldn't promise that. Especially if we're giving them basically a community bucket of water. If if one person has a bad illness and they're all sharing this, there's a there's a decent chance it will make them sick. If one of them has a bad illness, there's a decent chance they already also have it. 
True. But still, like, don't promise things. He's gonna take the cup and he's gonna... Completely defeating the point, put his other dirty hand on the part that would touch the bucket and pass it over to a woman next to him. He's like, oh, he's nice. You can see me. He's He's bossy. Whoa. Hey, it's bossy. Why is the water spicy? Where is this? These people don't know what spicy means. Why the funny fellow put all the funny things in the funny water? I don't it's know. Funny. They say it make us not sick. Uh, <laughs> it's bossy. God damn it, Samson. <laughs> So preservation tags. We should leave them something so that the fruit doesn't rot in the water. Oh, wait, how's that gonna work? Put a lid on it, slap a tag on, and the two cronies, I'll make sure I give them instructions to watch the containers and make sure they don't get spoiled. All right, and There's Samson least... will take off 50 Russian tags. At least there will be two people that can maintain the basic level of hygiene. That's going to have to be another thing on the list for, treat, for teaching. It takes a village and it starts with a single stick. And Zanzibar will just lay out a hand for him to put the tags in. Kill's gonna go pick up Nim. So she could sleep on her back if she wants. Nim looks like a whole ass adult right now. So? And? The visual is just kind of funny. She's picked up Samson. Yeah, but that's Samson. That's Samson. He looks like a whole ass adult. Look like an adult. He's also. Uh, Samson is cheapy sized whenever Gala carries him. This is how it goes. Nim does go to sleep. It's like two. <laughs> it's a nap, homie. Nim's not going to bed, just taking a nap. Nim's taking a depression curing nap. Nah, it's just been a day. It has been a day. It's, like it's two. been two months. I thought we'd been here way longer. I don't know. I've been literally like just spitballing an hour because I was given the, the directions. Last time no, we were told the time, I'd it say, was noon. I'd say yeah. it's- yeah, it's been like noon and it's been a few hours here. So it's yeah. like Nim four. had to have time to like, individually hand out pounds and pounds of apples. Exactly! It's and probably going on like, the... seven, eight, what? maybe. Afternoon, sunset. I'm guessing Samson hands the tags to Zanzibar? Mm-hmm. So I'll take that and say thank you. I'm going to make sure they have their instructions. You finish up here and we'll get when you can get me when you're done. And with that, Zanzibar will walk off to go give the cronies their uh, keep it clean instructions. Meanwhile, the the common folk have passed the spicy water cup around. The teacup looks like it was cleaner than this at this point. When it's finally empty, they one of them brings it over to you, Hyala. Mm, they just hand and go. Mm, 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 mm. She gives them a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Is is the barrel empty or still good? 
No, they were taking sips out of that one cup, and one of them is just grunting and uh, affirmative grunting and handing Kiala a now filthy mug. Kills, go look at Samson, Billy. You have a piece of cloth, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, and she's gonna she's gonna go. Uh, she washes the cup a little, and hopefully with at least a few people watching, and then sets it with the barrel. Yeah, like with all the other stuff, the tags and stuff. Well, Zanzibar has the tags. He's given them to his newfound henchmen. His newfound supervisors. Yes, his newfound supervisors of common communal health. So, this town reminds me of a, a player character in another campaign. But they don't bathe on purpose. And so That's our water genasi was like, I will waterboard you if you don't take a bath. <laughs> wow. Bear if I can do the bath I was just I reminded mean, of that. Yeah. I, it's time to Luna's yeah. campaign? Yeah. Because <laughs> right now Luna doesn't care to cast magic, and Luna's been uh, cleaning that player character the whole time because she doesn't want to be around the smell. What a Shay character thing to do. Mm-hmm. Hasn't even told- never even told them once. They were just like, you know, I don't stink right now. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. Oh, really? I'll tell it later. Okay. okay. Will you remember? Uh, if you remind me. <laughs> we- okay. If I yes. ask you later to tell a story, will you remember what story to tell? If you provide a little more context than that about non-bathing. <laughs> Okay. Now you. that I have now that I have the key waddle. The key waddle. Key waddle. <laughs> <laughs> Keyword search. Mm -hmm. Come to Jade. F. Story. I am. Not Philip. baby. So what time I am. What's going Ratio. on? Uh we're leaving. Ah. <laughs> Ratio. <laughs> Ratio. And left, also known as L. L plus ratio. <laughs> it's true. So where leave to? Find Zanzibar? Uh, I thought he said he was gonna come back to us. No, he said you guys come get him when you're done. We're leaving. Yeah, so leaving, leaving. I guess we go get him. Leave... Wait, leaving the commons or ending the session? Leaving the commons? Oh, okay. Oh. So I fail to see where the confusion is coming from. We all seem to be on the same page. We were all in the same place. And then we're like, okay, we're gonna go. And he said, come get me when you're done. He took the tax from Samson and went off to find the henchmen to give them the tags and tell them to maintain the cleanliness of the barrels. Why does he need us to come get him from that? Because he doesn't know how long you're going to be or what you have planned left to do. But Kiala mentioned leaving. Not while he was there, no you didn't. Uh... Alright, well, Kiala's leaving. <laughs> okay. Leaves. Come on, Mary Maker. I think Nim needs to be somewhere else. Oh, right. <laughs> I completely forgot you had Nim on your back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Samson will head off with Yala. And then, I imagine as soon as Yala gets to, like, the outer gate of the area, she's like, I don't know how to get back to Emma's house from here. <laughs> Why don't we just get Zanzibar, then? Alright, call him. <laughs>